Hi, I'm Kyle Russell. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to continue going over flashing wings form. We ended off in the last video with a dark B facing the 3 o'clock direction. So it should have been parry and an eye strike. We want to pick up from that exact same uh, location facing 3 o'clock with a technique called wing break. Um, I don't have a dummy with me today, so I want to demonstrate the best we can with a wing chun dummy and you'll have to use your imagination a little bit. And I may do another video later on when I have a dummy just to go back over it. And if I do that, I'll add it to the playlist. There is a playlist for the flashing wings form. I need to add some of the videos, but um, we'll just look for flashing wings form tutorial playlist and you can see the videos that are associated with this form. All right, so wing break, they're grabbing you and they're getting ready to punch. So basically they're here. What you're gonna do is grab their hand, step back and push up on the elbow to break it. And then you're immediately going to step over and bring that hand over theirs and wrap around their waist into a hip throw. It's going to be really hard to demonstrate with this dummy, but you step back, grab, and break. Bring your elbow over theirs to bring the arm down, stepping in front of them, grab around the hip, and then you're going to perform a hip throw. So to do that hip throw, you're going to want to rock them up on that hip and push it up. I like to pull on the shoulder and they'll hit the ground. Once they hit the ground, you're going to drop your knee down on the rib cage and do a half fist to the throat. So that technique one more time. Just grab, step back and break, bring the hand over, wrap around the waist, and I like to grab the back of the shoulder, bring them, roll them over your hip, they should land in front of you. When they do, drop your knee down on the short floating rib. Make a half fist, also known as a um, leopard's paw, and hit the throat. One more time. That technique is called wing break. Moving on from wing break, we have a combination of two techniques. Um, flashing wings and five claws of death. So one of the things I don't like about this form is that they put five claws of death in it because this form is taught in blue belt but you don't learn five claws of death until brown belt so even in my manual it says in with five claws of death but you haven't learned the technique yet. Um, it's one of the reasons I kind of rewrote a lot of the manual that was handed to me but we're going to go over it with the five claws of death in it today. So after the half fist I'm going to stand up and wipe off and stand up and turn towards your left leg going in a counterclockwise direction. So from the half this, stand up, wipe off, wipe off, turn. As soon as you turn, you're going to do a soft hand block. After that soft hand block is an elbow to the short rib. So the technique is off of a right punch. They've thrown the punch. You move it to the side, elbow the ribs. After you do the soft hand block and elbow the rib, you're going to come back and elbow the kidney. Bring this hand up just slightly and chop twice down. So looking at that so far, push the hand to the side, elbow through to the rib, elbow back to the kidney, bringing the hand up, hitting the side of the neck, probably the car carotid artery, hitting it again, and then this hand's going to just hook the hand to make sure they don't fall down and pull them back. As they do, this hand's going to strike up. This strike's been taught to me two different ways. Originally, it was taught to me as a throat strike, coming up and hitting the throat. So I studied more and more Kempo later on. I learned that it was often being used to hit upward on the chin because their head's coming this way and that strike up can do quite a bit of damage and it's already right there. Um, either one's fine. The motion is the same, the target's the only thing that changes, it goes from hitting with the top of the hand to the side of the hand. Alright, so after the soft hand block, the elbow to the rib, elbow to the kidney, chop to the side of the neck, chop to the side of the neck, hook that, and strike back. The very next thing we do is an eagle's claw strike to the throat, and I'm going to step behind the leg. Once we're behind the leg, we're going to do a different form of sweep. 
Um, what we're doing here is we're pulling the leg back and pushing the hand forward, or pushing the neck forward. Uh, it causes them to fall a little different. Normally we just step aside and turn, which takes them over our leg, kind of knocks off balance and brings them down. Whenever we yank that leg back as we push forward, it throws the legs up as it pushes the head down, and you're hoping to cause them to hit head first, uh, especially if they don't know their brake falls. It also makes it where instead of falling at an angle, they fall straight down in front of you. All right, so that's the flashing wing section. Soft hand block, elbow through, elbow back, two chops, push back. It can either be a palm strike or a knife hand strike. Grab the throat, step behind, and sweep. So normally, flashing wings, it would be turn and our normal half is to the throw, just like the previous technique. Um, but Kempo has a thing called rafting, where we can mix the techniques and take the ending from one technique and put it on and do another. And this is a prime example of that. So after this sweep, we're going to step down into what's called five claws of death. And the way they do that is they step over the body, and the person's landed in front of you, laying down on your back. So you're going to drop this knee down into the groin. Should bring your head up just a little bit. You're going to keep your hands rigid and spear hands, starting with the right hand and rake through the eyes. You're going to do four times, and the fifth time is a straight strike down. I like to use a sword hand. You can still use a spear hand. <clears throat> and then you step up. And that's how that form ends, it closes and then does the ending salutation. So let's look at that technique again. Step up, soft hand block, elbow through, elbow back. Two chops down, hook, strike, step behind, sweep. Step over, drop your knee into the growing, five claws of death, one, two, three, four, strike, and up. We wipe off, pull yourself up. When we end the salutation, we do it in reverse of the opening. So we start with the step forward and end by stepping out and coming back. All right, so let's look at just that section of the form and then look at it all together. So we should have stepped back from the dart B, grabbed, went back into wing break with a break, Step over, grab from behind, hip throw, down to a half fist, no step with a wipe off, step with a wipe off, turn counterclockwise, push the other way, elbow through, elbow back, double chop through, hook, chop or palm heel, I kind of like the palm heel better honestly, grab the throat, sweep, step over, Five claws of death, up, pull back, and close, uh, battles. Okay, so let's look at the whole form together. I'll do it once calling it out, and then I'll just perform the form once, and hopefully that will help you if you want to learn this form. Uh, again, let me know what you think about it. Some people seem to like it, some people seem to hate it. It's just a form that was taught to me for Lou Belt. Um, it's got a lot of good self-defense techniques in it, a lot of good ideas. So let's look at it all together. We have opening salutation. Draw bridge B. Hand staff A. Hand staff B. Wipe off, wipe off, pull up. Opening cowl A. Come through cross A. Wipe off, come through cross B. Wipe off, wipe off. Attacking the wall of A. 
two wipe offs. Attacking the wall B. Immediately stepping down into snapping twig. Wipe off the dart A. Wipe off the dart B. Into wing break. Two wipe offs. Flashing wings with a five claws of death ending. Reverse salutation. And that is flashing wings form. Let's look at it at normal speed. That's flashing wings form. Again, that's the form that I learned in my style for blue belt. The time I learned it was Shiny's Campo. Today we'll use the name Twan Fa. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next video.